Hello, I'm Lee from Rimmers Music in Blackburn, and today I'm going to show you the GNL ASAC guitars, specifically the ASAC Classic, which is the one I'm holding now. And we've also got the ASAT Classic Blues Boy Semi as well to show you. So I'll just talk about a few features of these guitars first. Um, obviously, this is based on a famous shape from another brand, which I think we all know, so I won't mention. A um, bit of history about GNL. Uh, the G in GNL stands for George Fullerton, and the L is actually Leo Fender. This was the company he formed after he left Fender. So what we've got here, we've got the ASAP Classic. Now the pickup configuration on this consists of two single coil pickups. Um, the, the interesting point with these is they're actually an American made pickup. These are made in Fullerton in San Francisco. Uh, the guitar itself is made in the Far East, but you are getting American made pickups with it. So we've got um, two single coils, we've got a three way pickup selector. So essentially, when we're in that position there, we've got the uh, bridge pickup on, we've got that position which is the neck pickup, and the middle position which is both. And then simple controls one single volume control, one single tone control. In terms of what the actual guitar is made from, now it does depend on the finish. So for the translucent finishes, it's actually swamp ash, and on the non-translucent finishes, they're actually a base wood construction. We've got a hard uh, maple neck. You can actually get this in a choice of maple or rosewood fretboards, depending on your preference. <laughs> it's a bolt-on neck construction. We've got free body stringing as well which offers more string stability, keeps uh, the sustain uh, better as well. Uh, is actually a gloss neck on these as well, which I personally find more agreeable. I find it a bit more slicker to play. Um, it's a C profile neck. So those who are familiar with profiles will probably know what that means, but it is a preference thing really that. There's not really a right and a wrong answer. And it retains the narrow neck of the uh, famous guitar that we're not mentioning, so it's uh, typical to that guitar. Now a few things that do differentiate it, we've actually got individual saddles on this which is a lot better if you're trying to set the intonation on the guitar, you've got more control over it. Now having the shared saddles is more traditional, but I think really that's a better solution particularly when you're trying to get your guitar to stay in tune all the way up the neck, you've got more adjustability in it. Um, and there's a choice of colours, we've got the sunburst at the moment, but uh, we've also got the red that you can probably see behind me, and there are a few because again it's a preference thing. Um, moving on, I'll show you the uh, Blues Boy now, let me just put this down. So the shape is the same on this, but uh, immediately what you notice is you've got an F hole there. And there's actually two cavities in this, and it offers some kind of acoustic response to it, a different tone, uh, which you shall, you shall hear when I demonstrate them. Um, the other standout feature with this one is you've actually got a humbucker on it. Um, it's an Alnico humbucker. Uh, those that are into science will know that that's a uh, alloy of aluminium nickel and cobalt. Um, again these are USA made pickups out of the Fullerton factory. Um, again we've got a gloss neck on this, we've got free body stringing, bolt on construction, again you can get it in a choice of a, a rosewood board or indeed a maple board. Uh, this is actually a blonde finish and it comes with the tortoise shell uh, pick guard which really sets it off. Uh, same controls, same bridge, um, but just the addition of the humbucker and the cavities and the F-holes do make a big difference to the sound. Right, I'll show you how these guitars sound. So I'm going to show you the uh, ASAC Classic first. I'm going through a, a Blackstar ID30 TVP, which is a cracking amp, lots of versatility. Um, I've just put it on one of the presets, so we're just on a clean sound. Got a bit of reverb on there, a little bit of delay, and there's a bit of chorus as well. So I'm on the bridge pickup, and um, so as you'll hear, you get that typical kind of bright jangly sound from it, which is uh, a trait of this style of guitar. So here we go. <laughs> I now 
got both of the single coils on, so I can get uh, quite a nice full sound from that. Of overdrive as well. So I'll just go into a classic overdrive setting, I'm going to stay on that bridge pickup, and you can actually get a wide variety of sounds just by manipulating the tone control on it. So you can get that really kind of smooth lead sound. <laughs> Blues Boy Semi this time. Um, I'm keeping the amp settings the same because this is more about the guitar uh, and less about the amp really. So again we'll start at the bridge position, got the volume up and I've got the tone up so again we retain that bright uh, jangly tone. <laughs> Where it differentiates itself from the uh, ATAC Classic. So we get a, a fuller sound, a bigger tone, um, because it's, a, it's hard to pick up. And the other thing as well, because it's a humbucker, it does what a humbucker does, which is book the hum. So you get less kind of background noise with it because it's hum cancelling. So again. <laughs> for you. If not, they do it without the F-holes. <laughs> 